Hello, how are you doing today, Jocelyn? Good, thank you. How are you? Good. So, uh, last time you we were here, we wanted to figure out what was going on with you, right? You said you've been feeling very weak and tired. Yes. Um, so, what I did was, last week we had you draw some blood, right? Yes. And we're going to yes. take a look at the labs and see, you know, if we can figure out what was going on, right? Yes, yes. I want to know the results of my labs. Yes. Okay. Good. Okay. So... What I found out uh, about the labs is that, you know, we ran a complete blood count, okay, that covers various different things, but I'm not going to, you know, bore you with, you know, all the normal um, levels, but um, the ones that stand out the most was your hemoglobin was a little low, 8.8, .8, oh, okay. What's and the normal? The normal range, average range is usually, you know, we want it to be somewhere around 13, oh, okay. That's very low. Yeah, so it, it's pretty low. We also look at um, MCV, which that kind of gives us an idea of like what like the size of these red blood cells, okay? okay. Um, and large red blood cells aren't you know a normal thing, so that also was was pretty high, okay. so around um, one ten. And then there was, you know, I had I checked your vitamin B12 because I wanted to see, because based on your symptoms, you know, that I thought might be it might be some kind of, uh, you know, issue with, you know, a deficiency in vitamin B12, okay? So I took a look at that, and that was around 125, okay? So that, that was low because our average, we want, some, we want it to be higher than 200 okay? okay that's significantly low so that gives me a kind of idea what's going on um also you know checked homocysteine levels um as i was thinking that i had an idea of what it might be I'll, I'll tell you in a minute what i think it's going to be but i had to draw these labs on the assumption that i had an idea of what was going on okay mm -hmm. so homocysteine was around 20 um which is pretty high and then I also checked um, antibodies mm -hmm. for um, against a thing called intrinsic factor and okay. see if there was antibodies. So we know that right now you, you have um, Hashimoto's thyroiditis, right? You take um, mm -hmm. levothyroxine yes. for that, correct? I take that every day. Yes. yes. Okay. So what, what I kind of see what's going on is that you might be suffering what's called pernicious anemia. Oh. Okay. What's that? So pernicious anemia is basically a um, deficiency of vitamin B12. And vitamin B12 mm. is a, basically, we, we get vitamin B12 from, you know, foods that we eat. And then our body has certain proteins mm -hmm. or glycoproteins that transport this vitamin B12 into our body so we can absorb it. Now, red blood cells require you know, vitamin B12, okay? Without the vitamin B12, then, you know, you can't absorb the vitamin B12, and then, you know, we have malabsorbed uh, or malformed red blood cells, okay. okay? Or we don't have enough red blood cells in the, in the body, okay? <clears throat> so, basically, just to kind of give you an idea of, of kind of how these labs break down a little bit okay um, like I said MCV just means you have larger red blood cells which mm -hmm. it, what we call macrocytic mm -hmm. okay um, which isn't a good thing because you know they tend to not circulate in the the bloodstream very well mm -hmm. okay um, you know, and I, I had mentioned before with vitamin B12, you know, we need that. So a low vitamin B12 is um, not a good thing because then we don't get the absorption, the nutrition that we need. Okay. Um, homocysteine molecule, um, kind of how that works is that, you know, it the molecule breaks off of like, a, it's called methyl vitamin B12 mm -hmm. and transfers to homocysteine. Okay which creates this different type of amino acid that um, lowers amino or homocysteine levels, okay? And 
and that's called uh, methionine. Okay. Now, if homocysteine builds too much up in the system, mm -hmm. it dan it damages endothelial cells like our blood vessel cells. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that puts us at uh, risk for cardiovascular disease. Oh. Okay. Um, intrinsic factor, okay, is a protein that's usually secreted by the stomach. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I'll try to put this in simple terms so you understand, but um, it's 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 secreted by our stomach, and then um, it it uses like it basically attaches to vitamin B12, and then it's it's absorbed in the small intestines. Okay, so that's kind of the simple way, but to kind of give you a little bit more broader understanding of the pathophysiology, mm -hmm. um, it it kind of works like this. So there's a a glycoprotein called um, transcoblumin, mm -hmm. okay? It's secreted by the saliva in our mouth, mm -hmm. okay? And what that does is that it protects vitamin B12. So we eat foods that have vitamin B12 in it, okay? Mm -hmm. When it enters our mouth, it attaches, this glycoprotein attaches the vitamin B12. We swallow it, it goes down into our stomach, right? Um, our stomach is very acidic, okay, and basically it protects it all the way through the stomach, okay, um, and then when it reaches the the terminal ileum in the in the small intestines, mm -hmm. okay, then pancreatic enzymes come in, okay, and they degrade that transcoblumin that has that vitamin B12 kind of attached to it, and then the that trans that that glycoprotein kind of gets dissolved and then you have this free vitamin b12 right then our pri this these types of cells they're called parietal cells okay they get secreted um by the ileum in the small intestines okay and then that attaches together okay and and that that trinsic factor is what allows for these vit this vitamin B12 to be absorbed by the mucosa in the small intestine lining. Okay. Now, also, red blood cells use vitamin B12. Okay, to um, for DNA, you know, replication, you know, production of of these red blood cells so that they can grow. Now, the problem what happens is that you know one way that you know you could have damaged or uh parietal cells that don't allow for that trinsic factor to be produced mm -hmm. okay um is you know immune autoimmune antibodies okay so for instance you have you know um hashimoto's thyroiditis right so that's called an autoimmune disease okay and where the body attacks the thyroid gland Okay, in those cells that, you know, help regenerate the thyroid. Now, the same thing can happen once you have an autoimmune disease. Other parts of your body can also attack other parts. Um, so, in this situation, what could be going on, which your labs indicated that there was presence of antibodies, you know, against intrinsic factor. Okay, so these antibodies are damaging you know, these parietal cells that's tr that, that is using this, you know, um, intrinsic factor to absorb the vitamin B12. Okay, are you following me so far? Yeah. Okay. So, um, so that's kind of like the, how, how it could be messed up. Okay, because in, in that normal function, it, 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 it absorbs the vitamin B12. But since in your situation, it could be damaged. Now, since your body's not absorbing vitamin B12, the red blood cells are not getting their vitamin B12, there's less production of red blood cells. So that's why you've been feeling weak oh, and tired. Okay. Um, because, you know, red blood cells carry oxygen through our body. And without oxygen, you know, cells can't grow and produce. Okay? So it can cause your body to feel kind of run down, tired. Um, worst case scenario is that, you know, nerve cells also require vitamin B12. 
okay? And so it's important that they get that because worst case scenario, you can start having numbness in your feet and numbness in your hands, which is not good because that's kind of an end stage, um, you know, situation, okay? So what should we should do is basically is we need to get vitamin B12 inside of you, okay? So the treatment for this is to, I think what we're going to have to do because it's so low right now, mm -hmm. is we're going to have to give you um, injection shots of about 50 micrograms of vitamin B12, okay? Mm -hmm. And we're going to have to do that daily for the first week, okay? okay? And we'll give you intramuscular injection for vitamin B12, okay? Um, and after the first week, we'll redraw labs um, for vitamin B12 and then take a look about it and, you know, if, what, if it's having a certain kind of effect for you, okay? Mm -hmm. um, then the next step after that, if everything is going well, is that um, we'll do, you know, the same injections, but we'll do them two to three times per week for the next four to five weeks, oh, wow. okay? I know this is, like, very involve me, involving, and, and I know it can be you know, difficult for you, um, but this is something we have to do. And then as soon as we get you stabilized, okay, where your body's getting this um, vitamin B12, and since you don't, you don't produce or you have difficulty producing intrinsic factor, this vitamin B12 is actually designed to actually be already ready with intrinsic factor to be absorbed into your body, so you don't have to worry about not having that intrinsic factor. Um, and then what we'll do is uh, we'll do monthly injections after you're stabilized, okay, of about 100 micrograms, okay? And this is something we're going to have to do for life, okay, because pernicious anemia can't be cured. Oh. Okay. Oh. Okay. Okay, so it's important that you stay compliant, okay, because if, we, if you don't, then, you know, we're going to run into um, higher risks of complications, Okay. Um, do you have any questions for me at all? Um, no. So I'll just, you know, contact the clinic for the injections, and hopefully. Yeah, I'll, I'll set up. I'll set up. Um, you know, with our our clinic and facility, um, you know, we'll we'll set up an appointment for you to, okay. you know, come in and get those injections. Okay. Um, I know you. You probably work right now, so we'll try to work around your schedule. Yes. Oh, yes, please. Yes. Okay. Okay. All right. And do you have any questions for me at all? No, you explain it very well, and uh, thank you. And, um, you know, hopefully you would help me with my uh, pernicious anemia. And uh, hopefully everything will be good. Okay. It was it was nice uh, meeting you again. Okay. okay. Thank you. Alrighty. Okay. Thank you. I'll I'll see you. Okay. Okay. Thank you.